Hey, what's up guys? Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. And I have a fantastic tool that I want to showcase for you guys today. It has been described as a Swiss army knife for troubleshooting network connectivity in Docker. Stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss this awesome utility that you can have running in your home lab. Well, the tool that we have introduced is a tool called NetShoot. NetShoot, as we mentioned, has been described as a Swiss Army knife. And the reason for that is the absolute number of tools that NetShoot provides, allowing you to troubleshoot connectivity or other network issues in your Docker host environment or even in Kubernetes. NetShoot contains common utilities that we've all used from the command line for many years, including ping, traceroute, iperf, IP neighbor, and it also contains other interesting command line tools such as the speed test dash CLI command in case you wanna know what is your internet speed inside of your Docker container. NetSheet provides visibility to all of those things that otherwise you might have difficulty figuring out in your Docker or Kubernetes environment. Before we get into installing NetShoot, let's dive in a bit further on the overview of the utility. So I wanna show you guys how you can easily find the NetShoot Docker image. So if you just simply Google NetShoot Docker, you're going to see similar results as what I have here. So I'm gonna click on this first result, which takes us out to the official Docker Hub landing page for NetShoot. NetShoot is described as a Docker and Kubernetes network troubleshooting Swiss Army container. And I can attest to the fact that it is certainly that. You have so many network troubleshooting tools at your disposal when you pull down the NetShoot container. And as you notice, the purpose is here to troubleshoot Docker and Kubernetes networking. So when you have that abstraction layer in between your physical network, a Docker host that may be virtualized, that may also be connected to a virtual network, then you have the further abstraction of that Docker bridge network. Network troubleshooting can get a bit dicey as you try to understand what is actually happening with your network traffic from within the Docker network. So obviously it is beneficial to have visibility from within the Docker network as opposed to trying to figure out what's going on underneath the hood, so to speak. And if I flip back over to the Google search result, we're going to go to the official GitHub page for NetShoot. And I want to give you guys a look at the network utilities that you actually have at your disposal when you're running the NetShoot Docker container. So just take a look at the network tools that we have that we can utilize once we run the NetShoot container just a few call outs. You've got curl, you've got iperf, also you've got nmap, you've got open SSL, you've got speed test CLI. So in addition to just bandwidth between nodes on your LAN, you've also got a speed test CLI that allows you to effectively see internet download and upload speed. You can do that with the built-in speed test CLI. Also other basic network troubleshooting tools like ping, traceroute, IP neighbor, and other useful tools can come in extremely handy if you're trying to troubleshoot a networking issue from within that Docker container. So let's dive into actually installing NetShoot. How do you download the NetShoot container? Is there any configuration required and how do you get up and running with running some of the network troubleshooting commands that NetShoot offers? Okay, so let's actually pull down the NetShoot Docker container. I'm going to paste in the command that we need to run. And that command is simply docker run dash dash rm for removing the container as soon as it exits. We're passing in the IT flag, which allows you to interactively work with the container. And then we're also using the privilege flag along with the container image. So let's execute the command. And as soon as we execute it, it starts pulling down the NetShoot image. You can see we're already exact into the container interactively. We've got the nice 
NetSuite logo from the terminal. At this point, we can start issuing commands. Now that we have NetSuite installed, let's look at actually running some of the command line commands and how we actually do that and interact with our container environment. So let's begin by taking a look and seeing which IP address we have pulled from within the Docker network. As we can see, we've pulled 172.17.0.3. Take just a moment, since we pulled this 17.0.3 IP address, I wanted to exit back out and let's take a look at the Docker networks that we have on this particular host. So as we can see, the default Docker network is just named Bridge by default. And that's where this 172.17.0.3 network is coming from. As you notice, though, we've got a couple of other networks, one of which is one that I created called Traffic. And I also have Traffic as well as Pi-hole and a test container, Nginx container running on that particular network. We can do a Docker inspect traffic and we can see exactly which network we're, we're dealing with. And the subnet for that network is 19.0.1. In fact, if I pull up my docker compose.yaml, you're going to be able to see the network that I have associated. So we've got the 19.0.10. And if I scroll down at the bottom of this particular docker compose file, we can see the driver is the bridge driver and we've named the network traffic. So that is the other network that I have on this Docker host. So that is interesting to me because I can now with the uh, NetShoot Docker container is we can connect to the exact network of another container that we have running on our system. As you can see, I've got a PyHole container running on this particular system. So one thing I can do is I can launch NetShoot and I can tell it to connect to the network of a running container that I have running on the system. So as you can see, I'm telling it the network of PyHole and then I can run NetShoot. And now one of the very cool things is that not only do I have an IP address in the network of the traffic network where all of those containers I have running that I may want to troubleshoot connectivity, but it is also running as the exact IP address. In fact, just to prove that to you guys, I'm going to go out to my Docker Compose code. And as you can see, I've got PyHole here and take note of the IP address that PyHole is assigned on this named traffic network. So if I exit back out, I'm going to change directory again. We're going to clear this out so you guys can see this better. And I'm going to run this as the network for the PyHole container and note what IP address I have. This is super cool. So now I can ping things like the uh, traffic container itself. Can I ping that? Well, yes, I've established that I have uh, connectivity. Uh, can I run a trace route? And you can run a trace route, connect, and see your network hops along the way. I'm going to close out of this before it finishes. And we can do things like IP neighbor show, which we can see that we've got the reachable status for our traffic container from the PyHole container. And we also have a reachable status for the default gateway, which is 0.1. Super, super cool. So as you can see, we can do a lot of really awesome things as far as network troubleshooting right from within the NetShoot Docker container. I know I mentioned to you guys the speed test utility, command line utility. Well, we can do that. Launch the speed test dash CLI. And we can test our download and upload speed right from within the container and see exactly what our speed yields from within our Docker environment. Guys, I think NetShoot is extremely, extremely cool. As we have seen in the video, the tool is super easy to download, to install, and no configuration required. The tools are already there. So if you are already used to running command line network troubleshooting utilities, then NetShoot is just going to be like 
riding a bicycle for you. Well, hopefully this video covering NetShoot will help you guys to add to your tool belt of tools that you use in your home lab environment as well as production environments. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay safe out there guys, keep on home labbing, and I will see you guys on the next video.